Hi, everybody. My name is Steve. I'm here with ATN, and I want to welcome everybody to another edition of ATN Nation Live. Today, we'll be talking about the Bino X 4K. And as a guest, I am having Gene Wisniewski, a veteran ATN Pro staff ambassador, here with me. Welcome, Gene. Hello, Steve. Nice to be here. Fantastic to have you, my friend. You know, they call you the mailman because not only do you deliver, you know, people's mail, but you also deliver in the field. And the reason why I wanted to bring you uh, to this segment is I know that you love the Bino X 4Ks. And I wanted to talk to you about it and get your true life experience using this product in real life situations and uh, tell us exactly how you've been able to use this product, the technology that's in this product to, you know, make your awesome videos. Uh, I know you, your son Hunter does some uh, varsity footballs, uh, games that you uh, document and film, not only for his school, but I guess others are approaching you to do the same for them. You know, please share your experience with us. Absolutely. It was the Binox HD unit. And I got those because we as hunters are out there in the field all the time, and we see a lot of things that, rare things out there. Maybe an albino deer, deer fighting antlers, you know, one with their antlers. You may see a black coyote or something. And we got in the field and we come home and we could only tell stories. What I liked about the binox was that you could take it out there with a push of a button, you could record those things and then you capture it at range. So at farther ranges, when you see wildlife or you see these incredible things out there in nature, you can bring that back home and put that on social media, share it with your friends. It is, isn't just a story anymore. you got a video to go along with it. And that was the original thought behind buying the ATN Binox. But what I did then was it just opened up so many more avenues. Football, you talked about a little bit. I had the units here and Hunter, my son, signed up for football. And I went out there a couple games and I recorded just him and I focused on him and I was approached by the school, the coaches, and they really liked the videos. And I started to just follow the ball around and do videos for the team. And they, they invited me up on top of the stadium. I get to go on top of the stadiums. Now I can travel with the team and he was a freshman. So we had the freshman team and then there was varsity and junior varsity. So there's four games a week. And I made some videos for the banquets and I'd make some, just some great plays. You know, Hunter, Hunter is a great athlete. I get him out there on the field, but I would capture other plays also. These parents would approach me and I started, I, I made my own YouTube channel based solely on the Binox footage and the, the football really exploded. Hunting, I use it in many different ways. I like to take kids out there or maybe guess for their first hog, their first coyote. I don't like to carry a weapon whenever I go with them. I like to kind of talk them through it. So I'll put that on a tripod beside them and I will actually record. Another reason is recording isn't, isn't as easy as it looks. Keeping that steady shot. So I would get two recordings. I get the recording with the ATN scopes, but I was on the Binox and I get that get that great footage and with that sensor in the in the new units here we've seen the bullet fl the flight of the bullet to the Yeah, animal. I've seen some of those videos. Yeah. Yeah, and it's it's, it's the, the hunting experience is incredible. Absolutely. Uh, just the sensors are getting so much better. Also, when my son when we sight in, I, I always take him shooting beforehand, get him familiar with the weapon, the range finder on those binox, we can move into a comfortable range. I hit that range finder he sees the range in his scope. He is now, he's very confident. Shooting is a lot about confidence. Confidence in your equipment, confidence in your yardage. Judging distance at night is hard. So that range finder on that Binox has paid off whenever me and Hunter are side by side. And, and I, you see some of the great videos he puts out too. And I'm glad you mentioned that. Yeah, uh, hunting at night, based on my own personal experience, judging distances is very difficult. You lose that depth perception. And if you're not familiar with that area you're hunting and uh, are, don't know the landmarks with known ranges, it's almost impossible to know how far a target is. And with the binoculars that have the built-in laser range finder in them, 
you could use a you could use that laser rangefinder both day and night and know exactly how far that target is to make that yeah. ethical clean kill. Yeah. One one of the biggest things in hunting is what is the range of that what is the range of my target, and, and knowing that range gives you such an advantage and it, it's it's priceless to me when you get out there and know that range of that animal. Absolutely, I wanted to ask you. Uh, you know, you, I know you love the Bino X4Ks and, you know, everybody knows that they have a 4K sensor, but from your personal experience, what is the video quality? Are you getting true HD video quality when you're playing it back at home or for others, uh, you know, after downloading that video from the, from the unit? Absolutely. I'm getting such quality that, that the people in the stands that are recording, and I see a lot of recording going on in the stands, they, they love our units. I can... There's some recruiters that look at some of those videos, and we have some really good talent on our football team, and they love the quality of that video coming out of there that they requested it for me. Every football team in a high school football team in the nation already has recording up there. Right. They, they didn't like that quality. They love the quality of the ATM box, and I can really get in on the action, too, with that four-power base zoom. I, it takes me right down there on the field. It's a little bit hard to follow around, but I, I generally don't zoom at all in a, in a football game. I just tend to follow the field. And the quality of this video, it, it, it's seen by the recruiters, it's seen by the school, and that's that's really why they requested me to go out there. I want to know, since you mentioned, so you, on certain plays you want to kind of, uh, or at hunting situations, you want to kind of zoom in closer yeah. to see the target a little better. When you're zooming in and using that digital magnification, are you losing any kind of image quality? How far... Can you zoom, honestly, before you're seeing that image pixelation or degradation uh, from your experience? Yes. At night, I think a lot of the zoom has to do with your IR, the power of your IR. Whenever I'm using just the stock IR, probably around 10 to 12, you start to see a little bit of loss. When my son is beside me and he has, say, an site, and mm -hmm. he has that extra IR on there, I can zoom in a little bit farther and, and still get quality videos. In the daylight, I'll tell you these things. I, I love them. I think you can go almost up to 14, all pushing the limits of 16 and not losing that video, video quality at all in the daylight. I did some kind of test runs on some horses at my mother-in-law's farm, and I was really, really impressed with the zoom during the daylight hours. I'm getting up there around 14 power before I start to really lose the picture. Wow, wow, that's that's pretty incredible. I uh, wanted to know, like, the, you mentioned the internal IR. I know that we have a setting on it from a one uh, to about a five intensity. What do you find is a happy medium that you use, and what's the farthest you've been able to push that IR uh, strength on, in, on the internal side, not an auxiliary or ex, uh, uh, accessory IR that you could see at night? I think a lot of our uh, viewers will be interested to hear that. Yes, the, the internal one, I can push wood line if it's a big object, say the wood line, and that's a lot of the things I, I will do. Sometimes I don't necessarily just range my target. I will range that wood line, and I will know, and I will get close to it. But I'm pushing 500 yards when it's a large, large object. About 300 yards, 250, 300 yards, I can get still get video. Quality video is really determined on amount of light. So yeah. there's something you, you could scan 300 yards easily with this. I think you could scan out to 500 yards with it at night. But the video transferring into that video, that's where that more light really, especially the 4K, it really likes a lot of more light. And, and the more light you can get to it, your videos are out. Now, just out there at night looking, I can see the wood line absolutely at 500 yards. I range out to 500 yards at night with the just the internal IR and then I'm looking at good video on animals about the 250. Nice, nice. I wanted to ask you, um, since it does have an internal laser range finder, what is the longest distance you've been able to range both day and night? In the, in the daylight, I did a little video for ATN's YouTube channel and I can get, I would think it was between six and 700 yards is the most I've ranged at night, or excuse me, in the daylight. Mm -hmm. At night, whenever I have my son with me, we've ranged out to between four and 500 yards on the animals at night. And the good thing about that is we can actually see where that laser rangefinder, when it actually hits that animal, you'll see the pulse of the mm -hmm. rangefinder and you know exactly 
where you hit on that animal or if you hit that animal or close to that animal with that rangefinder. You will see it in our in the X sites and in the binox. That's 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 actually very helpful information. I'm sure everybody loves to hear that you can see the actual pulse of the beam during nighttime conditions and able to kind of orient yourself be besides what the targeting reticle for the laser rangefinder is in the unit itself. Now, you know, the binoculars also have some other cool features like Bluetooth, our Bix technology, and Wi-Fi. Um, have you used the Bix technology to transfer the range data to, let's say, an X site or a Thor 4 in order to take a, a long shot, uh, either like having a, a hunter or your grandson, uh, Ethan, with you or another guest that you take sometimes when you're on a guided hunt? Absolutely. What I use is they get to see that yard exchange in there. We'll actually test it beforehand. We'll get out there whenever we have a hog located. We will get out and I will make sure that they're connected, make sure everything's connected before we even start to stock. And I will range a few things and they will see that range in there and they're confident in where that bullet is gonna hit whenever we do that. So when we're stocking in, say we'll range a hog at 400 yards, we're gonna get closer. And it actually tells us how close we wanna get exchanging it between us. And I make sure that my son sees that yardage in his scope. And you'll see it, you'll see it automatically change. You'll see that pulse and then you'll see the yardage change and you'll know that your units are, are synced up and working properly. That's a great advantage in the field. And it's a great advantage to new shooters and hunters and somebody you're you know, bringing to the you know, hunting, you know, to, to kind of learn the basics and uh, learn the hunting experience is by teaching how to you know shoot correctly, taking a clean ethical kill, knowing ranges is important as you mentioned, and this seamless transfer of data between the binoculars to the scope, I think is a great advantage you have in the field. Uh, and you could coach uh, the new shooter or the new hunter with playing back the video that you record on the binoculars or in our scopes, uh, you know, XI4Ks or the Thor 4s and you love those moments because you know we are we're nothing without our experiences and reliving those um, you know once in a lifetime moments taking somebody hunting for the first time and seeing their smiles uh, from ear to ear is really priceless. Oh, absolutely! I I can't. It's countless times we've used the gallery feature muzzleloader season this year. My son shot a nice buck. And I go back into that. I always go back when we sit there. A lot of times when you shoot an animal, you wait a while. You let it go over there, wait wait time. You don't want to push that animal. And we review. I love that we can go in there. We can review the video, look at that. We can talk about it. It happens really quick sometimes. And there, there's just some instances where you didn't, you didn't really catch it. You go back and you review that video. It tells you when to go after that animal. Maybe wait. You may go out, go out for a couple hours because it was a bad hit. And another thing about the memories, it's just one of the greatest things that I do is when I go by my son's room or my grandson, I get a text from my daughter and, and she shows me a picture of what he's watching on YouTube and he's watching our hunt together. <laughs> it's that, That's one of the greatest things I really love about ATM products is I always say this long after I'm gone, the, the kids can go back and look at what we did here in these years of, with ATM products. And, and they can they can show their kids and grandkids and hopefully take them out there too. Yeah, it's a true family bonding experience, you know, going together, experiencing the hunt, uh, bringing not just the meat home, but those memories home, and then sharing with family and friends, the social media, et cetera, and reliving those moments, reliving those victories. Um, I, there's another feature that I really want to touch upon, which I know you love as well, the Wi-Fi feature that's streaming to your mobile device uh, live streaming uh, from the Binox. I think it's a, a very cool, uh, unique feature that you know ATM Products has uh, that works really well. You can see uh, the live view of exactly what that person is looking through, either through binoculars or the scopes on your mobile device and coach them, basically telling them, you know, you know, you, your reticle is not in the right place, you're breathing too hard, or you need to squeeze the trigger more. There's so many of these nuances that you can really go over with those new hunters, youth hunters, or just new shooters, um, and teach them, coach them, and make them better shooters and more ethical hunters 
you know, for the sport. There, there's no doubt that I've used this before looking at that on my smartphone. A lot of things is just zooming in. When you have a smaller animal or a target out there and you're not zoomed in properly, it's hard. It really is hard to keep that rectangle in the right spot. So I talked my son into it at, at the time, zoom in a little bit. And once you zoom in, you have a larger target. It's a, a little bit easier. So I talked him through those ways. I know for a fact, Ethan's first hog, I was really worried about where the weapon is pointed, taking the safety off. And Hunter was behind us and watching in that thermal. And he was coaching Ethan as I was working the safety and the tripod and all that. So there was both of us here all working in unison to get Ethan on that correct hog, make sure it was a safe shot. And that easily takes off. Whenever you have kids out there, it is another tool, just another tool that ATN offers it is right there for you to use. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a safety thing. You know, years ago, these opportunities were not really available in the marketplace. And with this te these technologies, you know, coming to market, there's so many more opportunities to bring out youth and uh, new shooters and coach them in a safe, uh, responsible manner. So they are become, you know, conservationists stewards of the land and, you know, take ethical shots and, you know, t taking the game. It's very, very important to us as hunters and, you know, in the shooting sports industry, you know, child safety is very important. Knowing them, uh, you know, teaching them how to use firearms correctly, s safely, that it's not a toy. You know, it's, it's all important things that, you know, we need to pass down traditions ethical uh, ways of taking animals and preserving our nat natural spaces. Night, night hunting, night hunting opened up a whole new world for me because when you have a family or say they have functions, they have football or they just have, it takes up all your daytime. Right. Having night vision, having thermal that you can use now and hogs, there's just so many hogs that, that there's more targets for kids. It, it, you know, the video games is instant gratification. They want right. they want to go out there and they want to get. So hogs is a great opportunity. Night hunting is another great opportunity to get them out there more. It's just, it gets dark at 7 o'clock now, you know, in the winter. Right. Take the kids out there. We, we drive down there. I mean, they can go to sleep. They'll, they'll go to sleep. Or we sometimes we drive around in the vehicle and we check fields. I'll walk out and check the field. Right. They're in the vehicle doing their thing. And I come back and get them and say, hey. There's hogs out in the field. Let's go. So ATN has, without a doubt, opened up the opportunities to take more kids out there. And I know that their friends see them do it, and then they want to do it with me also. Yeah, the, uh, great points. Great points. You know, there's so many hours in the day. We're all busy with work, kids, life, you know, yes. taking care of household chores. You don't have as many opportunities during throughout the year to go out hunting. And hunting predators at night when you know you have a little more time let's say on yes. during odd hours or days off or you know family's asleep or let's say the wife is off to sleep and you know you you can go out with your kids and do yes. uh, hunting for a couple of hours you know and bond with your uh children and then family in that manner is priceless because we're all busy during you know day daylight hours most of us and uh if not all of us and nighttime hunting really brings out, you know, so many opportunities uh, to be more in the field, to be more with nature, to breathe some fresh air, get out of the house. You know, I yes. know I've been cooped up for a better part of a year and would have loved to, you know, have some more hunting opportunities here in California. Uh, you know, you have some great opportunities in South Carolina. You know, I'm very jealous. Uh, <laughs> I wish I could have made that trip to Louisiana that I usually do to hunt with Shane again yes. this year. But maybe yeah, I'll come down to South ball. Carolina and hunt with you. You know, in, in in the near time, near future, when things open up here, but yeah, hunting at night is uh, opened up a whole new world to a lot of people out there, which yeah. you know was not available and was not even affordable uh, even a oh. few years ago. You know, we've really brought to market great products at a great affordable price point that allows a lot more people to not only enjoy the sport, but get into the sport, which I think is very important. Absolutely. ATN, another thing I like is just the price point. You can go from $599 up to $5,000 and you can ease your way in. Get into them night vision units and see if you like it. And, and I know once I got into that, I was hooked. 
I was yeah. with night night hunting, and then then you got the kids involved, and I got more time to go. And it, it's just it's become it's become a lifestyle that I did we never had before. My yeah. vision and ATN, just seeing that ATN on a, on a TV show one time, it just, it's opened this up for me. So uh, I, I really love the products. That's fantastic, Gene. I really thank you so much for being in the program with me. Uh, you deliver, sir. I love watching you. your videos. Uh, ATN Nation, stay tuned for other episodes of ATN Nation Live. See you later, guys. Take care.